in Exodus chapter 17, excuse me, 17, uh, Joshua is sent out to do battle against the Amalekites. And while Moses and Aaron and Hur go up the mountain to watch. When Moses held his hands up, Israel prevailed in the battle. When Moses dropped his hands, Amalek prevailed. And so Aaron and Hur brought him a stone to sit on, and each man held up one of Moses' arms so that they were steady until the sun went down. Then the Lord said to Moses, Write this as a memorial in a book and recite it in the ears of Joshua, that I will utterly blot out the memory of Amalek from under heaven. And Moses built an altar and called the name of it, The Lord is my banner, saying, A hand upon the throne of the Lord. The Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Last week... Dr. Bray covered one of the names of God, Jehovah. And this week, we will cover another name of God from the Old Testament, Jehovah Nisi, or the Lord is my banner. This name of God is used only once in the entire Bible, in Exodus 17, the passage that we just read. After God granted Joshua and Israel victory over Amalek, Moses built an altar and called the name of it, The Lord is my banner, Jehovah Nisi. Moses wanted to remind the people of Israel as they celebrated their very first battle victory, apart from the Red Sea, so their very first battle victory, to remember what flag flew above them on their triumphal return. God had given them the victory. Surely, surely they would not be tempted to take the credit and glory for themselves, right? What man would ever do that? Surely they would carry God's name proudly with them into every battle henceforth, and they all lived happily ever after, right? No. Moses knew that the people would be tempted over and over again to forget. To forget where their blessings came from. So, he answers the question before he asks it. What flag is your life flying? When you go to work, what is the banner that stretches above you? When you discipline your kids, what is the banner that you are flying? In your marriage, in your interactions with people around town, in your giving, in your budgeting, And what about your hobbies or how you spend your free time in your daily disciplines, the things that you absolutely do every day that you make time for? What about when your alarm clock goes off? What banner is flying over your behavior at that moment? When you have to choose between comfort and effectiveness. And what about your Netflix history or your browser history? What banner flies over those areas of your life. Or your weekly screen time report, which if you don't have your phone set up to embarrass you once a week by telling you how many hours you spent on your screen, you should. In all these things, and in many more, you are walking under a banner. At all times, you are walking under a banner. There is a flag flying above every decision you make with a standard on it. The question is, as the question always is, by what standard? Right? Is it your face and your name on the flag? Do you do what you want to do in all of these areas? Are you playing the part of God? Or are you proudly walking under Jehovah, your banner? Well, because we love to march to the beat of our own drum and under our own flags and banners... We are reminded of the need to confess our sins regularly, and so if you are able, please kneel with us as we confess our sins silently, and then we will do so corporately using the prayer found in the bulletin.